you know, Wolf, in the real world, our people in this country are hurting. Half of the people are living paycheck to paycheck. We pay the highest prices in the world for health care. We got 18 million families spending 50% of their limited incomes on housing. Uh, we have people who cannot afford child care or pre-K. Uh, we have a home health care crisis in this country where people who are elderly or disabled are forced into nursing homes because they don't have the home health care uh, that they need. We have millions of seniors who don't have any teeth in their mouth. They don't have, can't afford hearing aids. They can't afford eyeglasses. In other words, the working families of this country, the senior citizens, the children, we have the highest rate of childhood poverty of almost any major country. And what my understanding of what politics and government is about is to address the needs of ordinary people, not just big money interests. So the bottom line is this bill that we brought forth on Sunday had zero Republican support. We couldn't find one Republican who was prepared to stand up for working people. And you had two corporate Democrats who were not prepared to stand up for working people. And that's where it was. But if you're asking me, am I disappointed that we have not addressed the major crises facing the working class, the middle class, lower income people, I am. What I want to see right now is that the Congress of the United States working with President Biden next year, develop an agenda that says to working families and the elderly and the kids, we understand your pain and that we have the guts to take on the big money and trust at a time when we have more income and wealth inequality than any other major country on earth. You know, Wolf, you've heard me say this again, and I think recent events point this out. This country is moving toward an oligarchic form of society where you got three people on top who own more wealth than the bottom half of American society. You got three Wall Street firms that have asked control assets of over $20 trillion. That's the GDP of the United States. Unbelievable wealth and power at the top while the middle class is in decline and lower income people are really suffering. We need to work right now, next year, with President Biden on an, address, on an, on an agenda that addresses those issues.